going to be beginning, fighting out for that long control and a little bit of an early split, but it's all been heard. Redgar is fully aware of what's around that corner and Defo goes oh, above expectation. Actually finds two headshots there. Slow things down a little bit. Three main artists actually going to respond here. Zipat will find a kill of his own as well. That's your last second. Yep. And, oh, and I do want to talk about artists as well. He's the one who's um, going to be actually the... the... See, there were lots of questions back when he was playing that. Oh, little freebie there on the way in. If his toes once again, we'll find uh, a second as well and a couple of attacks. Actuality. FPX might be sweating at this point. Yeah, it, take a trade, Back no problem. Down, 3v2 hey. still. Angel and Shao, the last two, still trying to work this one out. Probably a little confused as to what's happened, but nice work from Shao to find Nats. And now Redgar and Defo trying to play to the time a little bit. Allow that plant to come in and Redgar to close the gap just a touch. One enemy remaining. And the stun's going to come through. Okay, okay, Shao, anything? Ooh, the control. He was looking so, at but... Wall will be invested. They will lean back away. Redgar. Oh, he... That's the first. Second will evade him, though. Yeah, and, and sitting straight out wide there. No ability to really back away from it either. Definitely going to try and close in. That should be... Yeah, that, that's a pick up and a half. Oh, but... Zipan. Zipan! He got the second of that. The first, fair enough. The second, unbelievable. And the ult's going to do very little, really, to affect how that site looks. Able to peel away for now. Maybe going to garner a little bit of space to work forward. But Nat is unable to find much for it. And FPX put their foot down. It's, it's Oh, they've got that. They've got it in droves. But already the site's under contest. It's going to be artists leading the pack. And where's that next string to it? There's that next layer. He doesn't need it. He's fine by himself. But a quick trade out. Shados quickly coming on over with that supportive play. But actually a bit of a fumble. Okay, he's still fine. He's still fine at least for one. That's kind of surprising. I know exactly where. Well, Seth gets invested here. Shao will find another kill. Chronicle. To throw things back out. Angel under a lot of pressure now will fall. It's just Shao remaining. That's down to just one HP heads. Both of them finds the first. Yeah, this is great. Bit of utility left to make the play as well. So he can buy time. He can toy with Chronicle, but Chronicle, no man to be toyed with. But knowing he's drawn him off the fuse for now. There's that utility invested, going to pull him away from the defuse by a little bit more time and close the gap. And another investment coming out from Shao. This is beautiful. I'll play that time as best he can. Hold on to your head. Now Chronicle, surely Shao's going to check this. That's going to get to halfway. You've got to try and make this happen for yourself. A tap on the spike. <laughs> and Chronicle, it's down to the wire, but I think he's... Ooh, I he's thought he had that. gone down on that. That was such though. However, he is noted. He is seen. That's no surprise to anyone, though, at this point. And get that blood. You see FPX is trying to hold the line. Plenty of utility still in play. And at least now the time's on their side. Zipan actually takes a lot of damage as well. But show stop up. Available here. Should get it. Actually, Roll of Thunder gonna get posted. The showstopper will kind of slow things down in terms of the retake for Gambit, though. You can see the swing of the pendulum, right? They try to invest those alts to try and at least get them in the door, and they've done well enough on the first two, but there's the tip of the spear. Zip and an art is still alive, still kicking, and there's still a fight. What? That's the impact FPX needed. Nat's down, Shados down, and now one player. It's gonna be Chronicle. Tap on the spike, but artist denies it, and FPX. I've sent a player towards A, so there is an opportunity here. It certainly is, but look oh, at the oh, isolation oh, oh. artist straight away, just slicing through them like a hot knife through butter. Chronicle had no chance of this, and Nats is already going to be forced away from the angle. It'd be great if you can get anything done. No, pre-fired and put down. Exactly. Nats is dead and gone. This is already down to like two players. Yeah, Shados, good pick up on one, quick res, okay. They're trying to get this one back in check. It's a 4v3, but still, Defo going to post it, hope Ooh, it. Oh, Gambit down. Defo has to find something on the way in, but he's not going to. Shao will find two. Shados responds, but 1v3. Don't fancy his chances, especially with a two stack towards up. There's an actually showstopper invested. There was an opportunity there for Chronicle mm -hmm. to maybe host sand already, though. Where's the response here from Gambit? Right, this this has to be them denying that entry work that's been coming in, not necessarily free, but you can see it straight away, Angel by the side. Artists have crossed the safe passage of that spike towards the side. Actually, great spot towards ropes and shade off. There's that rifle you had to keep your mind put towards. That's the impact that could have done so much work. And now Artists and Shout, a 2v3. And Artists needs to keep their attention drawn this way if they want to allow Shao some room to work. He's trying to just keep tabs on things, but Artists is feeling that pinch. That pressure, he's going to tuck himself back towards the spike plant site itself. And where's Shao in this? Watching that cross potentially, but this is a tricky crossfire to hold, especially with players now putting their body just straight on the line. But Artists, Shao, that's the impact they Beautiful. needed. 
keeping everything 30. Both these teams can play a slow round, but Ardis, he's kind of just being that next layer to this. But will he expect that second layer to this approach that Defo had? It's that Shados is right on that corner. He's super diligent on the check, but Shados outdoes him on the peak. Oh, Wait for that. Actually, you're right. Yeah, the spike being there could be an issue. Shao, next on the chopping wow. block, but he will keep his life. And Shados just out on an island here, positionally. No possibility to reinforce that hole, but Redguard does pick up the slack. And another one here. Shao will pressure. Orbital Strike invested towards spawn to maybe try and get some control of underpass here, but Zipan still alive and kicking. Not for much longer, though. First glimmer of hope for Gambit in a moment, but Xiao still alive in this round. So gets who's gonna try and close in. The timing's reload. gorgeous. Just hitting it on the reload. Red guards down. Xiao then strikes. This is the timing and the spacing we were talking about, but this is now a 1v1. Chronicle against Xiao. Molly oh, goes no. in. Oh, it's whiffy. Mm. It's a little Penalty whiffy. Gets him around to the site early. We'll, we'll look for silver lining. And I don't know if Xiao's gonna expect it to be this Swingers. close. Chronicle. Oh, the timing! Chronicle, I thought you had it. I thought you had it all day long. And actually, no, Shao's going to punish him. 7 HP, all that's needed in the end. And FPX, correct. He's going to exploit this every single time he can. Nat, nothing to do but die. Goes down to Zipam, but there was a trade out. Chronicle's still going to be there, but he has to respect the utility. The site's under FPX control. The Banner now waving. Plant comes in. That's big, though. Taking down Artist maybe allows him a little bit more room to work back in on this site retake because they didn't have many avenues of approach and an upgrade Rolling to thunder. a rifle. Still light armor, and you're right. Rolling Thunder is there, but let's see if Redgar invests it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why he wouldn't. Off your feet. After the counter Rolling Thunder from Angel. Completely negates that. No progress towards sight. Angle flashed up and checked on. Beautiful work from Shados and Defo. Gonna Finally. show a little bit of some uh, kind of blow smoke up the ass of, of, you know, FBX. But there's, there's no need to overly sell it because we know the Gambit have depth. We need to see if FBX have exactly the same thing. An Angel, that's a stunner. Back to back, Redgar and Defo. Should be able to get the plant here. What a crash. I'm gonna go and try and take some heads first. Ten seconds time. Right down to the wire here, and Artis wants to punish this. He's found a gap in the wall, but now he gets the grand reveal. Angel though, not happy enough with two, he wanted it three. And now Nats doesn't have it in him today. Artis finally gets the blood. He was desperate to draw. Very clinical, methodical thought through pieces, but right now they are just being made into chop liver. Look at that. Artis straight away finds Nats, quick punish. That's a little bit of a look back up. Trying to get in towards this depot. Easy. Feed the machine. So get who's there. And it's one by one. This is not looking overwhelming or uncomfortable. It just looks quite clearly right now as an FPX round. But see what they can do now with the spike down. If maybe these three players can do a little something. Redgar now spotted. Obviously one still on the side. But Redgar does get the punch towards Sugetsu. So that's tower control now. At least kind of swung over towards Gambit. Okay, Redgar. And Redgar going to catch the cross. This is a bit better. This might stoke a little fire in them. It's a 3v3. That rifle is still in play for Ardis. Wait, the Molly missed. No way. Chow's going to find Redgar. Oh, Chronicle dear. will trade it back out now. Chow will find another kill. Oh, Zipan with the pinch. What is going on? It does is, it. Uh, orbital strike. No way. No way. See, what, oh, what, the is, damage. what is this? When did this? When did Gambit fall for this? When did they look like... All accounts. Yes, FPX are doing very well, <laughs> but... <laughs> Still pretty tasty from Redgar, but it's, it's not even the mechanical side of things. It's it's just looks a bit out of sorts. They look a little rusty, they look a little cold. Maybe uh, a little bit of a warm up in this game is what they need. However, we have Artis and Sugetsu still alive in a two v two. Spike now down. Spike planted. The first challenge probably coming in now. Enemy Swing on the corner. Better. Great work, Nats. That's what he needed. A safe pickup, <laughs> Artis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fully seen. And a 1v2. What you got for us, Ardis? Oh, those ice-cold hands looking right now. Gonna be doing well for the one! Punish on Nats and now the 1v1. Does he read it right? I think he has. Redgar's only got a Guardian as well. Timing. But Redgar's been sharp this round. He's bailed them out so much in time. It's gotta be a factor in the timing. He looks away at Ardis! The guy is... That old. Maybe that's why we didn't see it too much. And he's gonna push into this. Oh, Ooh, dearie me. An angel. The next layer to this one.
back um, the observers thought they had that smooth airfall on the way in. Invest the utility early because of that, which again works He's relatively good. well, but it's kind of expected, right? These two teams on the on this sort of time are 30 seconds left, they're going on the site hit. You're kind of gambling that you're in the right place. Now Sugetsu, again, name of the game, buy him some time. Try and do something with this one. He knows he's being closed in on. How much damage can he do? Absolutely zero. Zipan leaves him a parting yeah, gift towards Redgar, but it is still a 3v2. Angel and Artis, the last two stand. Artis on route, but he's still pretty far away, and he's got Chronicle to handle. And Chronicle's there, nothing go astray. <clears throat> Yep. We'll close this one out. Look, grab that. Oh, the trade! Absolute impact player. Now Ardis shows his hand. He now knows what's going. On. What? The res coming, and it didn't connect. I thought that was on the money. Ardis still alive. Zipan's pain shot comes through towards Defo. Ardis still stands, still gets Redgar. It's a one v two, but it's to get that player on the cross. But you now know that Nats, the bodyguard, is on duty, and he's really need value in terms of kills on the way in. Talked about it. There it is. Gambit going to take the space, getting towards the site. Already going to be Defo there. Chronicle now crossing. Ow. What is that trade out? Chronicle, though, going to put his name up in lights. Going to be finding two. Angel and Zippen now removed from the matter. Chow is still alive, and as is Sugetsu, joined by Artis, who's slowly clearing as well. He's not going to be there for a minute. And the wow, the same. But Chronicle seems aware of the possibility, at least. It's huge, though. Operator in hand. Artis ultimately has to be the one to take first contact here, potentially. Yeah, a little bit disconnected right now. No way. He's supposed to be fine. The headshot shade off. Gonna find the first. Yeah. Oh, it's Whiffy. Oh. What? Chow has to deal with it, but now could be punished on the way through. Defo doesn't decide to do too much damage, but it's Nats and Chronicle. Oh. And that's where it all falls to pieces. FPX struggling. Difficult for Sugetsu to really yeah, capitalize on that. And now it's just artists left. 1v5 operator. Yeah, good game, buddy, but I don't think. One's gonna go your way. Looking up and instantly it's a heavy alien. And actually gonna be a full retake probably from Gambit. Mm. That was a bit close. Oh, that was very close on the money and Nats. The beast has awoken, but Artis finds it right back. Two quick kills and he wants more. That's the artist you need to find the confidence, to find that bit of magic, but it's not done yet. Shade off as well, the two players who excelled in that second half. For now, he's gonna be forced away. Kept at arm's length. And catch this cross though. Ooh, he just considered it. You see though, after the, the cage fell, so he was holding for that. He still has his wall though, so potential to separate Ardis away from this and gonna do just that. I like that to get to sweating now. Ooh, and the punish to Shados. You nasty. He's gonna hear this. Uh, Ardis, he's got his ult. He's got the... No oh, way, Shados! No! <laughs> the side that they just Sorry. had to go on was meant to be... What? There's, a, there's a double operator Sorry. set up here from FPX. I really thought, oh, this looks a bit funny in that picture for a second, but it is going to be Shao on the op to get to find Chronicle. Uh, and it's working? Yeah. Question mark? Uh, of course it is. Uh, of, of course it's working. Nats now in a 1v4. Not for much longer. Double operator. Pause for thought in FPX. Not looking so... Ready to dive on in, Artis puts life on the line, waiting for that second string to come into effect, and no one was really there. This has all been one-sided thus far. Angel the only one to really draw blood for FDX. We'll post it up, should be able to find this as he swings. There will be a throw. There it does. We'll slow down, but nothing really gained on the back of it. Yes, it slows down Gamma all the way, but that finds a kill. We found Artis who was waiting there the whole time at Dish. Oh, you're going to be devastated, but FPX, there's the backline defense that you're waiting to see kick into effect. Zipan and Angel, but it's still Defo, still doing what he can, but it's going to be Nat left in a 1v3. It's around all fronts and six seconds to go. Just going to make a mad dash or do whatever he can, see if he can spot someone, because we're going to go again, aren't we? It ain't over yet, folks. This is going to be one of those days, so... We need to, to see stand. that punish of the rotation, yeah. though. And the problem is with Defo pushed up so far, he's still going to get a That's bit beautiful. of damage on this, and Artis has to fall away. Defo's playing... A, a gorgeous game. Really good punish towards Zipan. And you can see the concept coming out from FPX. But the problem is you have to at least clear towards main to cause that rotation, right? And and if you can't get past the first hurdle that's Defo, you're not going to get what you need. And again, Defo still yeah. not getting fully cleared. Gambit, you can see the Dillon. It's fantastically done. All right, we go. Ooh, where's he? Where's he? Oh, so just, I'm surprised Nats actually went for that early. Aggressive FPX again. This. And now he has to turn. Oh, and he spotted one on the drop. Artis is lucky to be alive, but he's still going to do the damage. 
as he catches Rhaegar on the cross, gonna pop the ult and try and give him the fade away, and those knives just ain't working. But let's see how this goes down. Ardis gonna put himself forward in towards the tower. Gonna pop himself up there. You can see on the other side, it's gonna be Nats, who's had a bit of a hot and cold game at times, but he turns the flash well, but not well enough to come back and deal with Ardis. Sight now under pressure. The two players looking like they have to respect this and kind of fall into that. Not necessarily a retake, but maybe just a catch on the cross, as Redguard does find one zip out with a quick trade out. And the spike. Gonna be going down. Not necessarily uncontested, but he will keep his life. Oh, this takes a lot of damage there. Down to literally one HP, and yeah, we'll get wall banged off there. Three v three though, and FPX still have control of Arcade here, but so gets you spotted on the cross, but still good for one. Finds Defo. And this plays in Zipan really well as well. Actually, Shao's the one to make the most of that. I like that crossfire. What? Hole, but I like what Shados did even more. Digging two out of oh. nowhere, the third just out of reach. Ash actually catches. You saw his FBX swing. There's actually nobody blind on the back of Redgar's flash. Mm -hmm. I, I think just that adjustment there, and that's easily fine. To back out, Mike. See ya. And Chronicles just oh, that's... towards B, otherwise they're not going to know the plan that's coming. Chow finds one. Stend. Gambit looking to maybe punish one of these rotations. Hold line posted, but it misses here. Chow going to punish further. Spike finds Redgar. <laughs> FBX running away with this one. Nats now, the last man standing. I can make you a believer sometimes, but this is going to be a tall order. Zipan closes the account. Probe towards B initially. Redgar swing out, find two freebies here on Dardis and Zipan. Finally traded out. So we'll follow yeah, completely up. Completely unchecked. Yeah. On. Um, kind of thrived in the mayhem. Everyone trying to clear long after oh. the contact off the back. It's a little bit more difficult. Zipan going to try and navigate past the Chronicle, all too aware of where they'd be funneled to. Gets a punish on one, but the trade comes out. The crossfire still holds until now. Angel left standing in the 3v3. This is the bonus oh. coming out, and well, that's a big chunk of damage coming in. That's so the timing on this could be pretty dangerous. Defo going to put his body on the line, finds one for free, and actually, look at this started. Yes, the spam is there, but no one connecting, and actually Defo, no he has no, no reason right, right. to stop. He keep doing this, Nats is crossing all, this is a disaster for FBX, made to look silly by Gammy. He's come down. Yeah, that's gonna draw a lot of fire out and make sure everyone knows what's up. Now, actually, yes, they do find Shados, but there's still Nats who hadn't got checked on. Zipan with a lovely shot. They're clearing as they go, and by hook or by crook, you're not meant to be doing this. Gonna force the ult to come down, deny Lisa Spike plan for now. Ten seconds on the board, and Defo's creeping on the site. Chronicle gonna close in as well. It's still looking deadly. It's probably not gonna go... Has he got that? Plan. Do they get it down in time? It was down to the wire. It is planted. A 1v2 for Chronicle, who was insane on that one. Not gonna get most of the attempted pace, should I say. They've taken over Hooker incredibly quickly. Artist, great work from the opening there. That's the impact you kind of need to be seeing from him. And the back of the aggression works well. I'm gonna note the players, but so you can see the pressure going right back into his red guy. He's not gonna get away with his life. And Nats now does try and slip across in all of the mayhem that was going on, but it is a 1v4 and he's been already wrapped on. Sugetsu's gonna play catch, he's in motion, flash in towards Octagon, and yeah, eventually maybe Nats gets one, that's fine, but Chronicle went down in the meantime, so Sight's completely under the FPX banner. This is actually a really nice Sight take, considering they knew they could be a showing through their capability in that regard, but Defo still with a rifle, has the opportunity for two, and he takes it with both hands. Zip out and Sugetsu punish and a quick play towards the Sight! They've cleared artists as well! A disaster in the making, and Chow now! Back to the wall, gets checked on, and they took X side. But again, it, trying to make progress on this Defo's in a dirty little angle. And they've hit the brakes for a second. They've lost that springboard effect they could have had. Angel already isolated and punished 30 seconds. And they don't really have any sort of step towards the side. Defo hasn't been checked on here. He actually decides to swing a little ahead of it. I thought he might wait to see if he could get away with something from that, but no. Gets involved and loses life. 20 seconds now. This is right down to the wire, and that spike is still at long. Flash is actually perfectly timed there, but FBX still muscle their way onto site here. Five seconds, Spike will be planted. Nats now coming up. No way. No way, Nats denies it! Oh, the... No way! From so... Maybe a barrel noted by Ardis there. And well, he's dangerous. From Ardis, I guess. Zipan will try and follow through. It's far away from the possibility, and again, good work on this. I don't know if they can make much of it. Sugetsu's gonna find Defo, but it's Chronicle on the trade out, or he's fight though down. Sugetsu wants more, he can't get it. Chronicle, this guy is so sharp today, and the retake again is what falls apart for FP. Yeah. 
and that's got to be devastating, right? We already talked about the lack of post plant utility, let alone with the ults coming in. You kind of think that might be a way to unlock a little bit more, but Redguard's done with this amount of pressure coming in. He wants to greet it with a smile, and already Artist, the next one up for the challenge. Does at least get Shade off, but he needs a bit more. He needs some help in this one, and there it is. Xiao and Sugetsu come through. They've got flight control, and they're actually trying to clear back in towards Showers, but there's still presence here to be noted. Defo one just swings on out, finds nothing for it. Xiao preoccupied, though, now by the Molotov. This isn't going to be too much of a bother, but oh, wait. Oh, no, oh, no, wait, Chronicle! Chronicle! Chronicle's a god Are right now, playing me? above his station. That was perfect! Desperation play for the... Actually, didn't catch that flash. Didn't... No. Sky flash didn't pop at all. It didn't reveal position. Able to turn it regardless, but they had no idea who was there. If they control the push coming out through from Hookah, there'd be no damage done, but they have managed to slip the net. Shados has to respect it to an extent, but he's going to just put himself into a corner. Nats has his back, but Angel breaks through. A 2v2, but it's Redgar and Nats still. 13 seconds. Oh, now coming in high flash as they try and just crest the corner. Nats, please, Angel out of it. And that's Nats again. You don't hold a post sign. And Defo's response pop the ult. If he finds anything, he's trying to buy time to maybe get out what? of that stun. But R Redgar? How has Redgar found remain. three? There was a, a smoke there, wasn't there? On this, you're like, oh, double duelist. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Buy time, but that close corner doesn't have a problem with being Angel. Oh, it's again, though. You're gonna find Redgar. Based on short. At this point, it's a 2v5 for Shados and Nats. Okay. Should be alright. Should be alright. Thirty seconds left. Should be alright. I'm just, I'm just here. There's some leaked opium, I think, coming across. There we go. It's not clean. It's not pretty, but you, you take it. Shados does have a one v three on the site. Thirteen seconds. Don't. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. Artist gets the close. Good about it. Definitely in terms of the ultimate cycle, I mean, this is uh, a little overstep from our oh, disc chronicle, man. He meant to do against it, and I think he's reading it right. Angel's just on that corner. He's got Shados by his side as well. He's fine. Now, keep in mind, this isn't uh, 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 Hello, Shao. That's a Spectre, by the way. is a long-range weapon. It uh, is a long- Maybe a flash in. Oh, it actually caught a pre far on it. There's Nats on the punish. So uh, yeah, he actually has it. Very fair assessment. Chronicle kind of sounding a little vulnerable. Drawn towards that B site. Flashes from Redguard going in. High flash shout. Gonna peek out of the perfect time, but does lose track for a second. And Redguard, let's see how that Spectre looks, eh? Not great no, this no time. Good shout. <laughs> Side, but it'll be hard to get a, oh, oh, a clean 1v1. Right. It's gonna be hard to get a clean 1v1. Yeah. I've lost. I've absolutely told a fib. He lost <laughs> he found a 1v1 <laughs> midair. Needs to find a couple more, though. Always the trickiest part. Of this. No, no Rios, way, no! Shados. Shot. Shados, are you serious right now? He's got the res. So gets us trying to close again. He's got his flash back up in a second. He's gonna put down the seeker. He's gonna try and keep Nats back up. Oh no! There's the ult. The world, but certainly not his own. This is not looking nice. The prediction on the position pops out the flash. No way! It well. So gets to keeps it. Made to look so, so easy by someone like Link, but Death gonna come in. It's a lot of pressure on Angel's shoulders, but he does have to get to by his side, so maybe time gonna be able to be bought here. You can see the damage. Zipan and Ardis now. Dynamic Giro. Have to get something done. 12th. Now have the orbital strike online, which let's do a, a, a dry hit, find a plant, uh, and, and sit back here. Hey, yeah, this is, this is where it gets down to the. Um... If it, if it, FPS needs to stop the, the spike from going down now, and that's the that's yeah. concern. Easier said than done. Yeah. I'm going to try and take a little bit of the room back on this map, but there's the early investment of the ult, but the punish comes out. The swing from Chronicle's there, and now Artist pinned into the corner. Right, Chronicle. Chronicle comes right. back. He tries to back away peacefully. Shower on the support, though. Takes the time through the TP. Gets himself... Oh, Angel. You are... You can hear all these steps. He is in... Oh, right. Maybe the spot that he could do some damage from, but again, we talked about it. Can they deny the plan? They're trying desperately to do so. Zipan and Xiao, the last two trying to yep. put up a fight, and yes, away we go. Left. But Xiao's here quick. He's not going to look for the peak, he's going to look for the cross. So we're going to come in. Oh, he just tried to peek ahead of it. Chronicle ready to punish that in case anyone dared to do it. Molotov goes in, and Zipan now still looking so favorable. So much in his path. You can see it. 
The vision, the eyes trained on it and gas. There's plant inside tube as well. No real possibility of any pressure coming through from FPX and Gambit will be able to sit pretty deep on this post plant. FPX here early enough though to contest it. Yeah, no flank coming in either. It's all just gun out through by the site. One for one trade so far. Gonna give too much of an advantage to either oh, side. HP looking pretty good. And you're right, the wall's gone up and the diffuser's coming down. This is the utility that's been left in check and unchecked. As FPX will get across the finish line. You can see it there, that late round. Trying to bolster this purchase, but Angel, you isolate. Keep those rifles in optimal range and Shane Ross has been copying a bit of damage off the back of that, but Red Guard's got his back and at least punish artists for maybe getting a little bit too far ahead than they'd like. The only trade really going FPX's way is to get to getting the punish towards Red Guard on the site itself. But it, it's this is the layer that's the most tricky part for FPX. How do you bring the Spectres anywhere towards these final players, right? Over towards Yellow, you've got two there. The wall goes up. This could be a good way to force the fight potentially, yeah. but overwhelmed, outgunned, and Gambit will get on the board. Three alive, that's on to rafters there, but seemingly aware of our. So there's just one behind the screens. The ban. A little bit of trouble. Suppressed as well. Shade off no good too. And the spam, they could find both players with it. Player and players go down to get through just body checks in towards Defo, leaving just Chronicle alive now. A 1v4. Nothing to be done. FBX clean on the playback in. I'm hit and they're banking on a lot of that pressure coming in through kitchen, but Chow's still there. He's fine. Takes down Nat. Shade off. Has the team fails. And Angel on the punish. Spike going down, and this is a problem. Gambit on, looking perfect on this act wall. Denied on the spike. And now Gambit level two. Defo and Chronicle desperately trying to pick up a piece in seven seconds. Good pick up from Chronicle. Actually, so get to get to points. No way. That's a nice bit of vengeance there for him. And again, this Pokemon FPX look very well established and making the damage count. Never needs another. Oh, we can't make it happen. Artist still stands. Chronicle still there. There's two alive. Red Guard and Chronicle. The last two hopes for Gambit in this one. Red Guard does the damage towards Artist. Time now. Signs of Dwindle. They've got to make a move and make it now. Chronicle, the last hope standing, puts down one more layer of utility. And time is the of the essence. And Chronicle might have to yeah. them more than enough. The one man to save them in this round. Thereabouts. <laughs> Wounded oh. for a moment. Uh, again, Wall invested at the end of B main here. Uh, 13 seconds now. They've got to make it count so late round. And Sigetsu's going to put his life on the line for it. He does lose out though. Nat's now free to pawn. He's going to stick this one through, trying to do as much as he can for this. Chow quickly comes back in towards Defo, but it's traded out instantaneously. Shados is not letting this round slip. Three still stand though for FPX. And they've been good on these plays back in, but Red Bar this time with the body check. Oh, the swing out from Shados is sublime. Chow on the receiving end is going to be now just. Two left. Oh, no way. No, Zipan, no way. And now they've got to find Shados. They noted him before. Close. Little underhand flash tries to get closer, drops down, taps the spike, tries to draw him in. Shados falls. Felt, so he's now. Left. Uh, Defo will catch Angel swinging out. That's the first one here. It'll be difficult for FPX to find anything else on the way back in. Lots noted, but no value found just the other back of Zipan has to swing the wall. Most of these kills going Gambit's way now. Hardest. Oh, He's got a lot to deal with. He's pinged up by the recon as well. Getsu unable to find anything. Shados. Yeah. Continuing to find kills there with FBX now. Definitely feel really backed away in the place towards CTA. Okay, Snowman. Can't do too much, but a slow. Angel uh, ahead of the curve a little bit there. Conical will punish it, but 13 seconds left, Lauren. Yeah, it's this is this is such a weird round. Such a I, Sugetsu is desperate to get there. If he can deny it, he can't go. And now it's all on shade of us. In, in a, what on earth just happened? Gambit with the desperation yeah. adjustment. To oh, oh, oh. Your all goes up, and let's see if that does become a problem. Nat's gonna play forward to get gets met by Zipan. The trades do come through for Gambit at the very least. Chronicle will be desperate to fight this out, but the Diffuse is coming in again. And no one can deny this. They're sitting the Diffuse again, the pop on the ult, but he can still just tank this one out if necessary. And again, these we go again. Oh, this. Oh! Okay. Oh, it's a bit kind of free reign on this for a couple of rounds, and they don't expect it. Ciao. Oh, it looked like it was the freest kill of his life. He thought he could back away from it. It's actually Sagetsu and Zipan to bail him out, to keep him alive as Redgar and Chronicle looking like the walking wounded. Chronicle's barely breathing, and now it's just down to Redgar. Good shot towards Sagetsu, but the rest of this seems just impossible. Spike down in kitchen. He's got an army to work through.
Falls at the first hurdle. Too, but it's hard to make that happen across the board, right? But someone like Gambit, you've got to be on the money for. Now, Defo's going to draw first blood, though. Zipan does go down. Look at this. Only three now. On the hand, Flash came through, you noted it, but also player got noted on the other side. Chronicle does manage to isolate Angel, gets the pick onto that. Xiao trying to take control to the backside of sight. Two players on the other side. Chronicle still making on the punish. They haven't dealt with Chronicle. You can't let him go on notice. You can't let him go unchecked. He's going to get three for his trouble. Clear that close portion of the A site, but as you can see, that backside of things is a little busy. Couple of players over there. Redgar, man. And no reason to move. Redgar. Redgar st He's still fine. He's sitting pretty. No problems. Chronicle finds Zipan. I don't know what the uh, theory here was from FPX. This has been a mow down. And Shados has to move on this one. Forced to fight, and the flash is good enough that they turn in time to get through the punish. And actually, the follow up as well. What on earth is this? How have they just found three picks back to back? No Ooh, trades came out. And hearing all of those potential angles, every single one could contain that threat. And he finally reveals no gonna really tame what he can do. Tries to get the timing just right, and he could not have been better. <laughs> How do they dig him out of these spots here? This is so difficult, Lauren. 30 seconds left. It, it is. I mean, we're down to 27 seconds. One enemy remains. And then it's just a brick wall. Artist is doing whatever he can, but it's just. Yeah. An impossible challenge for FBX. If you're a fan of them, you want to see them start picking it up now because they are starting to really feel that gambit inch. And Zipman finds Nats. I don't know where that went down to. Back of sight. Okay, good punish on that one. Redgar going to be on red alert. He's not necessarily alone, but the utility is going to cut him off from flash. support, but he still delivers on one. Chow with the trade. Redgar now down. Three still stand. Shadows, Defo, and Chronicle. But deeper this time. They're not really challenging directly. This will be an allowance of a plant at bare minimum. This comes through. Chow actually gets Zipan back on his feet here. Actually, the investment of the Vipers pit as well. Spike noted. And actually, Shadows going to pop his null command there. No way they fight back into this. No way. They are never out of these rounds, Gambit. They will fight till the very end, it seems. 30 seconds now, and if you took your thought away from it being a potential turnaround, you would be wrong. Because now just Sugetsu left in a 1v2. What can you do with this? Nothing! Defo is there, and Gambit just never... Already you can see FPX on that B lane. Early look towards A, but the contact's made in that. Uh, second. Okay, so tags, but no frags. And the flash was there a bit red guard. Gonna show him how it's done. The push towards CT. Okay, Zipan does get the frag, but now look at the time, 13 seconds, they break the wall, they deny the plant, and it's scrappy, but it is still just one player left alive with eight seconds and not many options to play with. Five, the nest, what down Chronicle, tries to tap away, but doesn't get the connection he wanted. Oh, this does, but it's instantaneously traded. Shados, not gonna let that slip, it's a 4v4. The plant is down, it's a little bit of a quicker round, and maybe this is the answer that FPX needed. Maybe there is some depth to this team that we hadn't seen them go to yet. The pace change could be it, but the retakes have been solid. And Nat's going to find a little bit of form here. He's been a little quiet compared to normal. Just to get himself out of danger, he's got Shados by his side. And that's all he needs to continue. Leaving Angel with a spectre and maybe just a little bit of a hope and a prayer at this point. Three players and none of them just playing ball. <laughs> This will be the first contact. Zipan does at least take down Redgar, but now we do note there's two players still tucked towards the back of the site. Nat's going to go for the quick res, get him back on his feet, but the plant comes in, and this time no one can deny it. Yeah, what's available to way back here? Oh, this actually will stand his ground. Finds that kill onto Nat's. Could be influential here. Actually flashed up and in the snake by though. Chronicle going to punish. Yeah, that's now back to an even affair, 4v4, but the time still favorable. Zipan, this guy is doing whatever he can to keep this round going in their way. Sugetsu wants to chime in with a little bit of damage towards Chronicle as well, leaving Defo and Shados, the last two here, and Angel could be the killing blow on this one. They don't know his position one just yet. Remaining. I don't think they can really do yeah. much to do anything about it. There it is. So FPX find he doesn't get what he wanted. Gonna back away and Artist tries to close in on that. I like that just play from Artist. Beautiful work. Closing the gap. He will eventually lose down to Shados, but that's a trade. Good spacing from FPX. The pace change, the acceleration towards the side. Sit and one Ooh, HP. He's lucky to be alive. He is a lucky boy today. But it is a 4v3 player advantage again, and Nat trying to step a little early. Spots Does down. get all well, the punishing spots, another on the follow. Can't adjust well towards the get suit. But it's all on Chronicle in the 1v3. Time on his side, the isolates one, and the switch oh. out comes in as well. This is huge. How do you dismantle this? Oh no. Redgar is going to be heartbroken. <gasps> yep.
That is painful to watch. Timing. Wow. Angel, though, grinning ear to yeah. ear. You love those. You take them every day of the week, and now we get to see this retake tested by all accounts. The bounce on that. Zipan's gonna eat a little bit of it, but it'd be just fine. But it's all effective trades for FPX. They're holding numbers, they're holding the site. Art is still in position. And it's all down to Shados, and Shados is. You see an adjustment in the plant. How many players are in mid, though? Oh. FPX have three players on that site, leaning through on middle. This is so difficult for Gambit to get a clean plant on. Someone might just put their life on the line to get through. Is, there it is, swings and crests the corner. No one's watching this, they can't, the wall's in the way, and still Chronicle does find one. Angel now down, but it's going to be Chronicle putting in some miracle, heroic work. I don't think he's got it in him, but I've been proven wrong in the walls past, up. but Chow going to try and get it towards halfway. And you're right, wall's there, there's a wall up. It's just like, fingers crossed, guys. Let's let's hope they don't shoot at us for a minute. It's just, it's so weird to to see them just. That's on the back of just an owl drone tag, by the way. Try and work his way in towards the site, waiting for that next layer of utility. Maybe a flash. There it is. Zipan going to be the instigator. Good trades coming in, but Gambit do want to back this time. Shadow sticking around for a fight. Plant tries to go They're down. Artis wins the fight. Shados is dead. Fight it's all on death on a one v three. And can you believe it? FPX out of nowhere. Picking up the pace, picking up every single drop piece that they had throughout the series and bringing it to this moment. How do they get across the line as Defo strides in towards the site trying to find one, a player anywhere, and no one is giving him anything. You're going to work for your dinner, Defo. First shot heard, and he's still none the wiser, looks for another. Spots one out, but there's three players, and he is playing hide and seek, and he ain't winning right now. It's going to be Shower, the first challenge potentially. A tap on the spike draws them in, and Artis puts him in his.